Praise the Lord, everyone. Ministers of the Apostolic Churches, and all you people that, the technicians and everybody, I greet you in Jesus' name. This is a very serious time for us as Christians. And I think it is scripture that tells us that we must look up. For redemption, joy, and I. We can see everything pertaining to the coming of the Lord is putting out its branches. And so we are to believe and trust him. We have not long to go. We soon leave from here. So we want to be ready. And when the Lord said, Come. Are ready to go. And so this morning I'm glad to know that we are prepared to meet such a season like this. And Paul says in the Thessalonians, for the time and season. He not have to write and to you for yourself. See the difference. What it is saying that you can see the difference of things happening around us. Different in government, different in society, different among people. And you share all kind of different opinion what causes this. But we as believers know and was looking for such a time and such a time is gradually coming upon us and we are preparing ourselves mm. to meet such a situation thanks be to god is that now that we are looking after these things we have started looking after these things a long time ago. And so this is only confirm what we were saying all the time. That Jesus is coming. And this is putting his appearance. We are seeing the signs of his coming gradually. Let us prepare and make room entrance. I'd like to read a scripture. Scripture is taken from uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verses 1 to 9. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God had not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We're encouraged by Paul. I don't know what the day is when Paul wrote those, whether they were seeing any sign of the coming of the Lord. But we are more ambiguous to think of the coming of the Lord. And we can go back to those words and make better 
use of them in our days, seeing that the approach of the Lord is nearer than when those words were written. We have come a long way since. The church has moved a long way since. Because when Paul wrote, write those scriptures, some of what is written not even was written. And so we are more learned now in the coming of the Lord. So let us be steadfast and listen to what happening around us. Not only that people are saying things, but we start to see the signs of the coming of the Lord. And we will be careless to see such sign and fall into condemnation. Because we should know now that the coming of the Lord is sure. Because not only that to read it in the scriptures, we are seeing the actual signs of his coming. And therefore, we are called to watch ourselves, open our eyes, and take heed and make sure that we stand it on solid ground. That when the Lord comes, he may find us ready. Wait. God bless you.